for you, part five. Pastor Wolfmuller here. Uh, there's a beautiful passage in Romans chapter eight that says, if God is for us, who can be against us? Which is just about the pinnacle of the whole scriptures. I mean, if you're climbing all the mountain peaks on the Bible, this is one of the highest. He who gave his own son did not withhold it, but gave him up for us all. How shall he not together with him give us all things? Now, the picture here, though, is wonderful because it brings us back to these pictures of heaven as a courtroom. And remember heaven, the heavenly court where the throne of God is. It's all around us. We can't see it. And in that heavenly court, the Lord sits as judge and the devil comes and accuses. Remember Job? Poor Job. The devil comes and he says, I'm going to be Satan for Job. I'm going to accuse Job of all this terrible stuff. I mean, I'm going to bring Job before the Lord so that the Lord would afflict him. And so the devil stands and he accuses. It's what it says in Revelation chapter 12. You should read that picture of the devil trying to eat the baby when it's born, the dragon. Who's gonna, and it says he was the accuser of our brethren who accused them before the throne of God day and night. That's what the word Satan means. It means accuser. So the devil is accusing, accusing you, accusing me of our sin. He's there. But now Jesus enters into that throne room and he enters in with his blood. He enters in with his suffering, with his cross, with his victory over sin, death, and the devil. And he stands as our paraclete, as our defender, so that now there's nothing to accuse. Can you imagine the devil says, oh, Brian did this sin, and Jesus says, objection, that sin's died for. He also did this thing, objection, that sin's covered with my blood. He also broke this commandment over here, objection, that's why I suffered, so that there's nothing to accuse anymore. The devil's cast down. <laughs> so Paul says, if God is for you, who can be against you? Who can stand in condemnation? Who can bring a charge against God's elect? It's God who justifies. And Jesus sits at the right hand of the Father and intercedes for us. Ah, God be praised. God is for you. None can stand against you. Amen. Thanks for watching Higher Things video shorts. Remember to like, subscribe for notifications, and donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.